CompTIA Network Plus N10-009 Practice Exam Questions 141 through 145 This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 141 Several employees have reported intermittent network issues. Upon investigation, IT discovered multiple devices with duplicate IP addresses. Further investigation reveals an unauthorized system assigning IPs on the network. Which of the following attacks is most likely the cause? The answer is A. Rogue DHCP server. A rogue DHCP server attack occurs when a malicious actor sets up an unauthorized DHCP server to assign incorrect or duplicate IP addresses to network clients. This can cause IP conflicts, disrupt connectivity, misroute traffic, or facilitate man-in-the-middle attacks by directing users to attacker-controlled gateways. Attackers may use this technique to intercept sensitive data or deny service to legitimate users. Enabling DHCP snooping on switches can prevent this attack by filtering out unauthorized DHCP responses. Question 142. An organization is looking to improve network visibility by implementing a solution that can monitor multiple vendors and operating systems, collect data in real time, and correlate information for analysis. Which of the following best meets these requirements? The answer is B. SIEM. An SIEM or Security Information and Event Management System provides real-time data collection, correlation, and analysis across multiple vendors and operating systems. It centralizes log data from various network devices, servers, and applications, allowing for anomaly detection and rapid threat identification. By analyzing patterns across different data sources, an SIEM enhances network visibility, streamlines incident response, and improves overall security posture. Question 143. An administrator is evaluating authentication options for SNMP. Which of the following is the most secure method? The answer is B. SNMP version 3 with authentication and encryption. SNMP version 3 is the most secure version of SNMP as it supports authentication, encryption, and message integrity. Unlike other versions of SNMP, which rely on plain text community strings, SNMP version 3 comes with various options for authentication and encryption. This ensures that SNMP communications are protected from interception and unauthorized access. Question 144. A company has noticed increased user access to gambling websites and wants to restrict this activity on company computers. Which of the following is the best solution? The answer is C. Content filtering. A content filter is designed to block access to specific websites based on categories, keywords, or domains. By implementing content filtering at the firewall or proxy level, the company can prevent employees from accessing gambling websites while allowing legitimate business traffic. Unlike ACLs, which control network traffic based on IP addresses and ports, content filtering provides granular control over web traffic based on URL categorization and deep packet inspection. Question 145. During a scheduled network upgrade, all RG45 cables were replaced in a data center to improve performance. Soon after, an administrator notices network issues including intermittent connectivity and degraded speeds. Which of the following is the most likely cause for the network issues? The answer is D. The STP cables were accidentally replaced with UTP cables. In a high-interference environment like a data center, replacing shielded twisted pair cables with unshielded twisted pair cables can degrade network performance. Shielded cables help reduce electromagnetic interference from power cables, motors, and other electrical sources. Without shielding, signals can become corrupted, leading to packet loss, slower speeds, and unstable connectivity. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did. It's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases.
Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.